My wife comes to me and says, hey, look at this. You can make a chalkboard for uh, your room just using a screwdriver. So I start looking at this, and this is a uh, Dear Lily blog, blog spot, website. And uh, she gives directions in here on how to create your own uh, chalkboard, like the one up there in the picture. And has all the detailed instructions down here. Well, to give you a quick rundown, some of the things that it talks about. Uh, so for this project, you need uh, two, piece, two longer pieces of wood, along with uh, two shorter ones. Screwdriver and these, uh, some wood screws that will screw the... Uh, chalkboard into the frame and that's, these are going to create the frame something to hang it up with if you want to hang it and then I got some of these braces in the uh, video or on the website they recommended some of these little uh, what are they called uh, mending braces and the only problem I think with those is they only have one screw in each side and so when you put the two pieces of wood together you'll have one screw in this one one screw in this one but with these you can take and put them at an angle and you'll have two screws in each one. That'll give a little bit more strength. These are like two bucks at Menards and or uh, Home Depot or something like that. And the uh, the ones that she mentioned with the mending braces were like a buck eighty-five. But uh, and then we also got this piece of uh, chalkboard already uh, painted. This was like ten bucks. Any kind of any kind of uh, chalkboard that you went, that you wanted to get. This is just uh, MDF with the chalkboard on one side. Anything you want to get is going to cost about you know five to ten bucks anyway, and a can of spray paint was five bucks, and this was ten. It came it came four foot long, and I cut off a foot, so it's just three foot now. So it should be just right. It comes two foot wide, so you don't have to worry about the cutting the width. So I'm going to attempt to put this together, and hopefully, the one that I put together looks a lot like this one in the end, just with no writing on it yet. We're gonna order that later and uh, get it printed at Staples. But I'll uh, put some links to this website on the uh, in the comments so you can see them. This is the mending brace I was talking about that she recommended to use. The only problem is it only has one piece in each or one screw in each piece of the wood which makes it for a little bit weaker. So here I put the uh, corner brace on at an angle and having two screws in there this is going to keep it from moving quite as badly as just one screw on each side. So I got this this one together. I'm going to go ahead and do the other three. When you are using these, you don't want this gap to pull apart like this and then accidentally screw the screw in. What you want to do is get the, get the edge over here lined up like it's supposed to be. And then on the first screw, you want to uh, put the screw not in the center but a little bit off center away from the uh, gap and that will help pull the two pieces together. Once they're pulled together this one you go ahead and center it but this one here instead of putting it here in the middle you want to move it back here to the edge and uh, go ahead and let it pull this pull these two pieces of wood together and uh, that helps it just stay together a little better it makes it look a little nicer without that gap the uh, frame is put together I got the braces on and the uh, it's pulled together pretty tight and you can see these extra holes here where I put it together wrong the first time <laughs> but the uh, remember that the long pieces go on the inside these are the long ones and the short ones go on the top and the bottom and the long ones go in between the short ones so that's something good to remember if I would have read the directions a little closer I would have seen that but the frame is done being put together so now it's going to be Time for my wife to go ahead and stain it and put it together the way, the way that she wants and distress it if she wants. And then when she's done, then we'll make a part two to this video showing how to attach the uh, chalkboard on the back. But just to give you an idea of how this works, the uh, chalkboard is actually smaller than the hole. Because, and you can see here how much it overlaps. And it overlaps so that you can have room to uh, put your holes in. And also... It also overlaps a little bit the, the lengthwise too because of the, the way you built your the way you cut the boards. So you kind of center that on here. Of course, you'd flip this over so the chalkboard is facing the front instead of the back, and screw it down, and then it would be ready. So when they after it gets stained, I'll put up a second video showing what it looks like with the final product and how to attach the uh, 
chalkboard and the hanging wire. Thanks for watching.